hello everyone um, this is Michael again I quickly want to show you how you can install a custom indicator many of you are still having issues of how do I put this indicator that are not inbuilt in MT5 so um, this is the procedure that you're gonna follow when you want to install um, <coughs> the custom indicator a couple of people have bought some few resources from me and uh, and uh, um, yeah many of you are still having issues how to install it so just follow this simple step you'll be able to have the system right in your in your mt5 any custom indicator this is the procedure for installing any custom indicator on mt5 um, pc version okay they don't work on mobile okay we use it on pc if you want to use those custom indicators on mobile you have to use what is called vps I'm not going into VPS right now. I'm just showing you how you can put it in the uh, in the PC version of MT5. So, first thing you have to do is to download that indicator into your computer. Okay. If you have it, if you have it on the email, please you download it uh, from. The so, like I said, you simply come and open up your email. Okay. You open that email, you come to the indicator where the, the attachment, please download it. If you already have it downloaded or if you already have it saved in your computer, you will simply go and open that file, okay? Yeah, so here we are downloading it from the email uh, because the indicator is attached to email. Now, once it is done downloading, like you see here, you can open the, you can open the file from where you see open file. Okay, or you can just come and open your normal file following the normal procedure like you see I'm doing here. Then you come and, come and open download. <clears throat> After opening download, you see here we have Boom and Crash Scalper 1. Now, I had already downloaded it before, but I did it again. So you can just open any of this. Of course, yours will appear like this. You open it. Now, before this document opens, this is a zipped folder. So, for zip folder to open, you must have zip extractor. Something, um, it's like a software for opening the zip folder. But most of the Windows 10 are having it. So, you simply down, uh, double click it, it will take you to this. It will extract and take you to this page. Again, you come and double click on that folder. It takes you to now these different folders which are having the indicators and the templates, okay? So we want to put those files in the right place because if you put indicator in the wrong place, it will not show. And you might think that someone has given you a wrong file or something, but it is you who is not doing the right thing. So what you have to do, make sure that indicators go under indicators. Templates go under templates. Expert advisor, if it is given to you, let it also go under the right place. So what we do, open the indicator and copy it all like this copy to clipboard after copying you can minimize everything okay minimize so that you could come and open mt5 so here our mt5 is open uh, you of course you open a chart for whatever asset you're trading now here we in boom 1000 Change it to one minute time frame if you want to use one minute time frame. Okay. Now, to put the other indicators, please come and click File, Open Data Folder. Then, after opening Data Folder, you come and click MQL5. MQL5, click it. Then, here now you see we have different. Uh, folders here, but you're looking for indicators. You have already copied indicators the other side, so you come and open indicators, right click, paste. Okay, I replace because I already had it. So, right click and paste, then you can close that one. Go back where you copied the indicators from, you can go backward one step, or you can reopen that Z folder again so that you come and now copy templates. You now come and copy templates copy you come back to mt5 file open data folder then 
mql5 again but now here you look for profiles because now we want to put templates templates are not indicators they are just settings of how it should appear so you come and click profiles then you come to templates you right click paste templates there okay now when you're done pasting you can close everything including mt5 please you must restart it okay so you close mt5 you can just close everything okay yeah so now you come and restart or you open mt5 again so here we are um, right click on the on the chat window then you come to template come to whatever template that you have in this case we have boom for trading boom so you click on that template the setting just comes by itself you can see here okay this is just for scalping so when the arrow the alarm come comes with the arrow you enter the market for one candle yeah and uh, i use it in three minutes time frame i use it in m3 not m1 okay i use in m3 okay yeah you can use in m5 uh you can see here you just take one candle of five minutes you can use in m15 uh m15 is right there so you take one candle of m15 okay although the signal might take time to appear but you're sure that when it appears yeah i'm good to go you understand yeah so so this is it <clears throat> this is it for yeah so yeah this is what we have yeah so i use an m3 now how do you put that m3 you come to the time frames that you see here R right click that time frame then you come to cast customize okay then you come and click customize then uh, let me first take this back move let me take this back so you uh, after clicking customize you're gonna see this these different time frames now you see we have m2 that's um two minutes time frame m3 m10 m12 m20 m4 i mean h4 h2 so you just insert what you want so i'm trading m3 so i click m3 you insert click m whatever m10 you insert m6 you insert then you close they will all appear up here okay you see them there then you come and click m10 if you want to trade 10 minutes m3 the one i use here okay though i want to try m15 and one hour but this is what i use i developed this indicator myself just recently yeah so that is how we install the custom indicators okay and then um how you put the m3 time frames or whatever time frame that you want to use yeah so thank you very much i hope you have learned something if you follow the procedure very well thank you